Hello people in America, I am Rob uh, from England and I've been asked to give you a quick whirlwind tour of the sights, sounds and tourist attractions that England has to offer. And luckily for you, I already have this map listing the sights and sounds and attractions of England. It's left over from International Day. Anyway, where better to start than our nation's capital, London. There is the Millennium Wheel, which uh, is now called the London Eye because it's not 2000 anymore. Uh, we have Big Ben, the most famous clock in the world. We have uh, Tower of London, the most famous prison in the world. Uh, Tower Bridge, Buckingham Palace, where of course the Queen lives. And then you might want to uh, continue along, still remaining in the south, uh, to Stonehenge, which of course was built by Druids, goodness knows when, back in the past. Weird thing was the rocks they used were from about 100 miles away, so no one's quite sure how those beardy fellows managed to haul it all over. Uh, going down to my neck of the woods, down the southwest, uh, you can't tell because this is just blue construction paper, but this is the Eden Project. It's um, this renovated quarry, and in the base of it, they built all these uh, greenhouses, big round greenhouses. Uh, one's got like a desert climate, another's got a rainforest climate, another's got a forest climate. So it's a great chance to, you know, get heat stroke and hypothermia in the same day, a bit like Oklahoma weather. Um, if you're brave enough to venture up to the north, we've got Blackpool, and the uh, only special thing about that seaside town is it's got a rip-off of the Eiffel Tower in Paris, and yeah, it's really not that fantastic, I wouldn't book your tickets now. And let's not forget our national sport of binge drinking. Uh, you might want to stop off at a nice quiet country pub and have a beer by a fireplace, then move on to a nice little cocktail bar and have a martini or a mojito. And then you can move on to a nightclub and get a picture of uh, a daiquiri or Blue Lagoon and then shots and just get completely wasted and either get a taxi home, get an ambulance to the hospital and then get a taxi home or just pass out in a bush or in a garden somewhere and then when you wake up you can recover and have a nice English breakfast or maybe afternoon tea. It's all, it's all good, whatever you choose to do. Anyway, I hope this has been uh, informative and now you know a little bit more about English sites and attractions than you did before we started. Uh, yeah, so thanks for paying attention and good luck.